In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice finding the area of a parallelogram. In example A, it says find the area of the parallelogram. And what we're given is one side is 15, and that's going to be our base, and a height of 8 inches. So the area of a parallelogram is base times height. And in this case, 15 inches is our base, and 8 inches is our height. So all we have to do is multiply 15 times 8 to get 120. And then for our units, we're going to need inches squared. And the reason it's inches squared is because with area, you're really figuring out how many little unit squares would it take to fill up the whole parallelogram. So it would take 120 little inch squares. All right, let's go to example B. If the area of a parallelogram is 56 units squared and the base is four units, what is the height? So remember that the area of a parallelogram is always base times height. So if we know two things, we know the area is 56 units squared and we know that the base is four units, we can substitute those two pieces of information into the formula. So 56 is our area, and 4 is our base, and we're trying to figure out our height. So we can just solve this equation by dividing both sides by 4. And we get that 14 equals our height. So specifically, the height is 14 units, because that's the units that were given in this problem. All right. And for example C, if the height of a parallelogram is 12 meters and the area is 60 meters squared, how wide is the base? So this is similar to the last problem. We're given the height is 12 meters and the area is 60 meters squared. So if remember that the area is always base times height for a parallelogram, and we know the height is 12, and we don't know the base, that's what we're trying to figure out, but we know that the area is 60 meters squared, we can set up this equation, which is the same as saying 60 equals 12b, which means that 5 equals b. So the base is 5 meters, because meters is the units we're working with in this problem. So the base is 5 meters wide. 